Hello and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. In today's super quick tutorial, we will talk about how to show today on your trend line chart. So here I have two examples of me having a blue line for my sales. And what I want to do is make it easier for the user to see where today is. So in the first chart, I'm showing today with the bar chart. And in the second chart, I'm showing today with a little white dot. So let's see what I had to do to implement this feature. So the first thing you have to do is to implement the actual calculation. So we have a sum calculation here. And uh, in order to implement the today feature, all you have to do is implement a today mark calculation. So this is what it looks like. So all we do is we create a today mark bar, or you could do a today mark. And if selected value of date is today, then we are going to show our sales. And if it's any other day, we show blank. So effectively, we will paint a data point only if the date is today. And the data point will be the same as the sales value. So it'll overlap with the trend line that we show in our charts. In the first example, I'm using a clustered end line column chart where my column values are using our today mark bar calculation and line values use the sales value. So as expected, sales are shown as a trend chart and there's going to be only one bar chart, bar in the bar column portion of the chart for today. The only thing that you need to do when you start combining variables like this is to go to Y axis and make sure that you start from zero in both charts. Depending on how you set up your, your chart, if you're using one Y axis, then you just need to start from zero and that'll make sure that the bar goes as high as your trend line. If you're using two Y series, then what you would want to make sure then again, start both on, on zero. And then in the second Y series, let me do that here quickly. So actually that option is only available in the line and stacked column chart. So if you use that visual, so we just, you need to use a visual that shows both lines and bars. So in this one, in the line and uh, stack column chart, then when you go to the Y axis uh, in the formatting, so we always want to start from zero and this will make sure that our heights are the same. And then if you do decide to scroll down and use secondary, then if you say show secondary, you want to make sure that you click on align zeros. And if align zeros is uh, enabled, then that'll make sure that the bar has the same height as the, as the line chart. And now for the second approach where I'm using it as a dot, this is very simple. Uh, it's the same setup. I'm just using a standard line chart. I'm dragging both today and sales into values. And then all I need to do is just go to colors and color. I color today as white, sales as blue. And that's all I need to do to highlight that, that value. So this is a pretty quick hack on how to help your user to see visually indicate where today is on your trend line. Again, the, look for the link in the description of this video if you would like to download this model and see exactly all the formatting options that I use to create this report. Thanks for stopping by, and I will hope to see you soon. Bye.